hello in this video we will see how we can take a backup of our google site website so let's see how we can do this thing at first we need to come to the dashboard of google site which is sites.google.com here we'll see the list of sites which we have right now so i want to take a backup file of this site so to do backup this uh, this website at first we need to access the google drive folder as all the sites of google sites are stored in google drive so i'm going to uh, click this three dot, uh, dash and then i have to click drive and the drive will be open from here we have to go my drive and here we'll find all the files and folders of my website or of my google drive so right now here the site name is like few step site so if we come here we'll find the few step site is somewhere like inside it here and here we are seeing this is the few step site so this is the file uh, backup file of my google drive not google by google site website so to uh, take a backup at first i'm going to uh, create a uh, new folder here and then i'll create a copy of this file and i'll put it over there so i'm going to create a folder like pressing new button and then i'm going to choose new folder and here i'm going to type a folder name like website backup and i'm going to press the create button to create the uh, folder i just mistyped the spelling so i'm going to fix it uh, by typing the correct spelling of this or website and then i'm going to press the create and here we'll see website backup folder has been created now let's go come here and make a copy of this thing so i'm going to click this three dot and then it will be in this type of menu from here we have to choose make a copy i'm going to click here and it will make a copy and it will be uh, inserted here basically so here it is showing creating copy of few extra sites and once it is finished you will find the copy of that thing and it, it will give us the message created okay then we can uh, close this thing and then we can move this thing this is the backup right for this site so i'm going to move it we can move it uh, by clicking this three dot and it will bring this type of menu from here we have to choose organize and then once we move our cursor on the one organize it will bring us this type of thing then we have to press move and then we have to choose where we want to move that uh, backup file i'm going to move here and we want to, we just need to click here and it will be moved over there by pressing this button so we linked our uh, website backup to this website backup folder now we just need to press the move button to start the moving and here you will see that is not there now if we access this website backup then we'll find so this is the backup copy of our website now we need to take a backup of this thing so to take a backup at first we need to go to uh, a site which is called google takeout so this is the google takeout we just need to access uh, this site takeout.google.com i just clicked here or there and here it will be in all this type of window so here it is showing all the uh, services whichever i am using under my google uh, i mean gmail or google account at first we need to deselect all and then we have to find the drive so if you scroll down a little bit you will find drive we just need to check this thing and it will be like this okay and it is selected like this then here it is showing multiple formats advanced settings all drive data included here okay if we click here it will show all the data but i don't need everything right inside this google drive there are many data are there right here if we come here my drive here i'm seeing lots of files and folders are there but i don't need all of them i just need the backup of os side so what we can do we can choose this thing all drive included if we click here it will bring this type of uh, menus uh, where it will show all the folders in this way so at first we need to uncheck this thing so everything will be unchecked include files and folders and deselect all so i just deselect everything okay now we have a folder right which is called uh, back website backup so here we'll find that that one somewhere here so if we scroll down a little bit here we are seeing that is the folder name website backup we just need to click here to select or check this thing and then we have to press the ok button then only that folder will be selected and we'll see the message 
or updated uh, text like what folder selected and this is like uh, is, uh, inside that folder computer information something like that anyway that is the folder basically uh, website backup so we choose that thing and now if we scroll down a little bit i mean not a little bit at the bottom of the space we will see a next button uh, we have to click the next step once we press the next step it is coming like this is in this way destination where it will be saved now we have to choose the location where we want to save add to drive add to dropbox add to one drive or add to box from here we can choose anywhere we can choose this thing anywhere uh, wh whichever location is best for us like add to drive or add to dropbox uh, on drive or add box so i can choose add to drive suppose something like that it will, it will save like that way and here it is showing export only on export or two months for one year like six exports something like that so i'm going to choose this option export once because i want to download right now and only one time okay and the file format uh, file types and size you can uh, choose the file type i'm going to choose zip but you can also use other option option is also and file size 2 gigabyte or something like that we don't need to uh, think about that thing and then we have to press this button a create export once we and press uh, create export then it will ask us the, to type the password i'm going to type my password of my uh, gmail account so this is my google account fiesta.email.gmail.com so i'm going to type the password once i type the password i need to press the next button and then if the password is correct then it will give us this option so if we scroll down a little bit we'll see export in progress google is creating a copy data from drive uh, this process uh, process can take a long time process uh, possibly hours of days to complete you will get an email this thing so basically it is showing like uh, if the site is big it will take some time and you will get on email once everything is processed let me check uh, my gmail account whether it is able to show those things or not so this is my gmail account of this account uh, fiesta.email on this one if we click here then here we'll see your account your data so your exported copy this data is ready so you, you can either click view in drive or you can download it from here so from here if we uh, click the drop down you will find like this so it is stored over there we can click open and then it will show like this now we can select it uh, this is the file right drive or something like that take out uh, this take out okay and it's 10 megabyte size and we can click uh, download so how we can download so here we are there right so we can press this download button to start downloading and it will take some seconds to prompt the download and it will take some time to start downloading and finish downloading because it depends on the size of your website once everything is fine then you'll find this stop message okay so we just need to click save and everything will be downloaded shortly once the download is completed then we can access the location where it is downloaded for my case i'm using mac computer and here it is showing that this is the download if we double click it will be extracted because i have some software which can unzip we say unzip basically this folder this file basically and this is the takeout and if we come here we'll see everything is there so this is the website backup right so if we click here we'll find copy of few steps and these are the file and this is all the files so these are the files of that page i mean that website we have and this is sub menu sub menu everything is, is structured but even the emails everything all files are there so that's it guys in this way we can easily uh, take a backup of our google site website Hopefully by watching this video, you will be able to do this thing. I mean, you will be able to export your Google site website on your local computer and uh, can keep it for your future use. Thank you guys for watching the video.